I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't stop, but on a day like to this, a day like to a day like to this where there's no batals, a day like today where nobody is around, and she she is, and I can see for every direction. By all means, roll that bitch. Potential lesson. 
So yeah, if there's no spots this time, I'm just parking right in the middle of everywhere, zero fox. And until a car comes to move and get out, then I ain't fucking moving. Holy shit, boys. They are putting this up quick, they are. This is not the same thing I showed you earlier. And I don't even know if you can see where the water line is, but it's like right at the edge of the pillars at the bottom of the building. And that seems a little close, but whatever. Me no okay. Me no okay. Me no okay. Yeah, good thing we're not prone to earthquakes. I would not be up here. Let's see. Well, shit. It's steady been raining for a couple hours, but never that heavy, but definitely steady. And I don't see any leaks in here. So maybe it's only under severe downpour that this thing leaks. But I am, you, I am seeing water accumulation here and here. I'm going to drip in. I'm going to drip down here. So I need to actually, this is a bad idea, without the overhang. I mean, this is perfectly, mostly perfectly dry. This would be the real test. Yeah, this is not wet at all. So with sufficient overhang, yeah, so I'm clearly going to have to put an overhang piece here at the very least. Because, yeah, that's dry, that's... But that's still got some wetness to it, so yeah, that can't be happening. Okay, there's no cats under here, for fuck's sakes. All right, well, we are off to uh, off to the shed. Had nothing to do with anything. I was just, I'm just off, and it's raining, and I thought I'd take the opportunity. Oh. The gentle rain, as opposed to the crazy storm we had the other day. So we went to the VA. This, incidentally, that's uh, still, that's, I wore my cowboy hat to because to keep the rain off. The, and oh my fuck, it looks so stupid. So stupid with these glasses. But I will digress and point you this way as we head out. Head out. I apologize for the cat. For the cat prints. Do I even have a little bit of washer fluid? And I got actually a full thing of wash fluid. For some reason, the right left side is clogged or the pump plastic piece is no longer existent. I don't know what the case is. I don't think about it until I have to cluck and clean my windshield like that, which is few and far between. So yeah, it'd be nice if the cats would would mind, but they don't. So uh, yeah, I apologize for the semi-clean windshield now. And uh, so we did the big VA trip, as uh, you'll, you probably saw some blips from potentially, and there were just all sorts of fucking activities and shenaniganoids going on, of which I missed because I didn't bring my little, well, I didn't, I didn't bring my little sticky thing here that y'all are stuck to right now. and. And I should have, because oh my fuck, it's like every time I go to Atlanta and back, uh, I literally see, you know, every time at least one, generally three or four, this time I saw three literal near death, I mean they were just, they were so close, like it's like an angel came down and stopped the accident from happening. So I don't know how that one of them was a semi today involved, and the other one was just a truck and a car, or an SUV and a car rather. And uh, the third one was uh, just a singular car that wasn't paying attention. It was his fault. Just, a, but, but the others were pairs. People are idiots. Oh my God. So of course I didn't catch any of that. It's all I could do to get me and the pawn law back safe for fuck's sakes from Idiotsville. Oh, oh, pardon me while I take a. Had to take a sip of my tasty beverage for fuck's sakes. Wet the palate as it twere. So, uh, so we're now we're off to Wally World because, you know, of course I just passed by there this morning and I could have passed by there on the way home but we came a different way. But I was watching the email all day for the text from Walmart saying my order's gonna be here even though I'm, it's not even supposed to be here until tomorrow. So, I digress and digression amongst, 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 not a word. By the way, in case, you're, in case you're wondering, probably, as far as I know, I'm not a Scrabble expert. I'm not Miriam nor Webster, but nonetheless, we are off to the Wally of the Squirrels because my fucking order, of course, the second I get home and jump on the fucking toilet to release the shit that would not come forth this morning because of the fucked up schedule and the routine tech, what happened? Even though I was totally up at plenty of time and totally had plenty of coffee, my body just wouldn't. It's like, oh no, you're going on a trip? Now fuck you. So I thought for sure it was going to be shit games all day, but no, no, it was cool. But when, when I got close to home, though, it's like, oh, we're going back home? Cool. Hey, guess what? I got a message. So as I was delivering the message, I got a message from Walmart, you know, ironically enough, going, hey, your shit's here. And I'm like, ah, fuck you. Because, you know, again, just got passed that way, or potentially could have, even though it went the other way. So now we're headed back. After a break of a couple hours for me to rest from the fucking day's activities. 
So it's onwards about the evening words now, and uh, headed the way to pick up our, did I even reveal it yet? Television slash really computer monitor, because once I actually got my new prescription, you know, my son took away his TV that I stole and was using as my monitor and took it back down to fuck Twat's house. So I've been using the monitor, or I've been using the television of the bedroom, which is like, what, a fucking 42, 47? It's not a 50, but it's fucking big. It's way too big for a computer monitor, at least one that I'm fucking using without wireless fucking hey dons from far away. And once I got my new prescription, then it was super ridiculous, because it was just like, oh my fuck, now I have a headache all the time trying to look at this shit. Uh, so that's back in the bedroom, as it should be. And I found a nice little uh, 27 inch, I think it is, for like 90 bucks, like an RCA. The trick was finding a, finding a decent full 1080p with actual PC hookups, right? Because most of them just are like a two USB deal. And they don't have any VGA or PC or any of that bullshit. Uh, at least for the decent price, but I finally found one after searching enough, and it's an RCA, which is a decent brand. I didn't want to get a goddamn Skepter or fucking Rukio or whatever these bullshit brands are. I'd be like, nah, me okay. So, yeah, so that's what we're off to get. Probably should have got two of them, one for the old lady, but I didn't because I'm a goof. And I apologize. That's not the right side of the road, Mutton Chop. I think the cow operation is about to be Benito, because the only one that'll fuck with them is my father-in-law and my eldest and me. And neither my eldest nor me have anything invested. I, mean, I take that back. Technically, my eldest has... No, actually, he doesn't. He had a cow. My father-in-law had given him a cow and uh, just, you know giving him the calf money every year when his when his cow had a calf, but I think he stopped doing that once he moved in over there with him, you know, to kind of, you know, because they pay for everything, right? And so, uh, I mean, he gets a little check for his, uh, for his disability, but, you know, it's not much. So, yeah, I think they actually took the cow tech back. So, yeah, literally, like, he's got nothing invested in it other than the fact that, again, he lives there, so he's kind of obligated. But I've got damn sure nothing invested in it. I mean, besides the fact that we pay for all the fucking water, <laughs> right? I mean, well, or the electricity, whatever. We don't pay for the water because it comes from a well. But we pay, you know what I mean? Like, basically, we supply all the cow water at, on our land at our house and have for the existence of the cows. You know, at least for 90% of the year where they're in this field. So anyway, you know, it, it never, you know, not for nothing, but whatever. Like, never a compensation, never upon the fucking selling of all the calves multiple times a year, twice a year, whatever. You know, does anybody, my father-in-law or my brother-in-law, come and give, you know, me or the old lady a fucking check for whatever, hundred bucks. You know, God forbid an actual fucking, like, you know, take from like one calf, like once a year, that'd be nice, thousand bucks a year for the use of the fucking land and the water, but don't fuck yourself. Don't even take us to dinner or anything will happen. But, you know. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so yeah, I'm all about fucking, yeah, quit the fucking cows. Because what? then I can take my fucking land back and we can start using it for what we want to fucking use it for. Thank you very fucking much. Like, man, like uh, no compensation and we can't use the fucking land that we goddamn pay property taxes on every fucking year. What? What? Like, go fuck yourself. Like, oh my God. So apparently y'all caught me in a little bit of a mood now. So maybe I'll just shut the fuck up. I mean, whatever. I'm not pissed or anything. It's an old bitch, right? It's an old bitch and that I've fucking had for years. So it's nothing new, but I'm not any less pissed about it if I actually give it any thought. It's like, nope, it's still just as fucked up of the situation. And whatever, I was raised better than that. And I would like to think that I do people better than that. You know, I just wouldn't use somebody's fucking land. Oh, is it cool if I just totally fucking hit my cows graze and live on your fucking land? Like... I mean, our land is connected, right? Uh, so, you know, my land's connected to your land, and I'm just gonna totally use your land, and you're fucking, go ahead, and if you don't mind, I'd like to, you to supply the water, and, uh, as well, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, thanks, bud. Oh, no, compensation? No, no, there'll be no compensation for that. I'm just gonna do it. Whatever. 
I mean, I know it was my father-in-law's land initially, and I know he gave it to my, you know, wife, but that was fucking 25 years ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not your land anymore, dude. And granted, like when our fucking pump went out, and we didn't have the thousand dollars to have the well company come out and drop another one, you know, yeah, he dropped the check for it and we paid him back. So, you know, that's all well and good. But, you know, again, he kind of had to if he wanted his cows to have water. <laughs> I'm just, whatever. Fuck, man. White people problems, right? Oh my God, first world problems. Wham, why don't you bitch some more? Button shop, you fucking goof. Turn your lights on, fuckarooskies. Had to be a Jeep. Oh, look at this fucking clusterfuck. McGillicuddy 1 and McGillicuddy 2 directly in front of the fucking Ford in front of me. And he wants no part of it, so he's trying to get way off their ass. But I'm like, dude, crawl up it. Because now you're holding me up big time. The speed limit's like fucking 40, and you're crawling at 25. You best be turning to fucktardo. Are you fucking serious? Where's your blinker? Yeah, let's get it on and let's get the fuck out the way. Because you're about to piss me off on the straight up tip. Buddy, you're about to get hit. Go slower, motherfucker. Take longer. Jesus fucking Christ! Like, what the fuck was the holdup, dude? Really? You gotta start stopping a half a mile before the fucking turn? Time to change your fucking brakes, bud, if they don't work good. Jesus Christ, you ain't gotta be race car McGillicuddy, but come on now. All right, bud, I don't know what you're waiting on, but... We're gonna need you to fucking go sometime in the fucking now zone. You better get the fucking five star fucking crushed. You like that new car? You best learn how to fucking drive it. We don't hang out at fucking intersections for 12, 16 hours waiting to hope a car shows up. Like, oh, maybe a car will show up that I get to wait for while I'm waiting. No, fucker, just get out of the way. That's how that works. I ain't gonna fuck me up here and got this fucker just bearing down on me like a fucker. Got this dumbass fucking jumping lights like a stupid fuck. Wow! I'm gonna have to get my orange vest out. I brought it. I don't have my flag. I'll have to fucking do a makeshift flag, fuck's sakes. Take off my t shirt, spray painted orange, put it on a stick. But these motherfuckers seriously need some regulating. We got the dipshit crew out tonight. I had quite enough of that shit going to Atlanta and back. Not an actual stop sign. Are oh, you good, bud? You're good. Were you even fucking looking? I don't think you were. Not an actual stop sign. Just a suggestion. Can a cop pull you over for not stopping at a stop sign in a parking lot? That's gonna be a negatory. Ghost Rider, it's private property. Unless you're like in a national park or a fucking city park or something like that, then yeah. But like this, no, you can fuck yourself. What happened? I apologize. Apologize. Apologize that I knew the law. I'm sorry. What happened? I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't stop, but on a day like to this, a day like to this, a day like to this where there's no buttholes, a day like today where nobody is around, and she's fucking dead, she is, and I can see for every direction, by all means, roll that bitch. Ah, fuck. The pickup's on the other side. Son of a dick! They tried to trick us again. Now we're behind Millie Van fucking... Mini oh my god! Oh my god! Get the fuck out of the way! What are you fucking doing? Dee -dee -dee, here's your fucking sign, goof. Take longer. Why are you stopping? Let's not have a fucking conversation. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck on, bitch. Ain't your goddamn front yard, cunt. Keep it moving or get fucking crushed, Acadia. Jesus! People about to get fucked up. These motherfuckers think it's a game up in this bitch. Oh, I'll just fucking hang out a while. Don't mind if I fucking do. You silly fucking cunt. Oh my god. I don't know if it was a chick or a dude. A cunt nonetheless. Oh my goodness, we got our TV. The sun came out. I just lost my receipt. I just found my receipt, and we're off. And we're off. Going the wrong way in the in the parking lot, but we're off. Nonetheless, swing back over to this side. Oh, hey, how you doing? I thought you were looking this way. Apologize. I apologize. Apologize. I had to stare at my ugly mug for so long. That must have been that must have been ter tremendously awful for you. Unless you like that kind, of, then it might have been tremendously terrific. Oh, oh, so many T words. 
Oh my goodness. Just the fucking fuckery of it all. Oh, fuckery of it all. Oh, what the, have I, how have I never ever seen that gazebo? I've passed this by this way literal, I was about to say literally a thousand times, but I'm sure it hasn't been a, a thousand. But it's certainly been several hundred. And I've never noticed that gazebo. That is quite crazy, if I do say so myself. So I think it's 24 inch is what it is I got. I think I'd rather have 27, but I can't remember even what my son's was. I think his was a 32 maybe, but I think 24 is actually probably quite fine. It'll be quite perfect, I'm sure. I think I think the old lady is like working with like a fucking, maybe a 15 inch. I don't even think it's a 19 inch. I think it's a little 14 or 15 inch monitor. Maybe not even that much. I only have some room on my desk again too. Holy shit, goddamn big ass TV took up my whole freaking desk. I mean shit, ideally if I had walls that could take the weight, I would just like to hang on the wall right there and then actually get rid of that desk and just get an actual nice little fucking open desk. Basically three panels. I like the kind, lots of leg room. I don't know, I had a beautiful desk, I gave it to my mom. Freaking awesome. Had a little filing drawer on the bottom and a little top. Took a couple drawers for storage stuff and the other side was shelves and a little uh, cubby hole for your computer tower and all the wires and shit and everything tucked away nicely and had little holes in the desk for all the wires to come up through and it was a huge, huge open face desktop that was just massive. It was so awesome and it's, I'm sure if it's still in good shape when God forbid my mom passes away I'll fucking use that desk again because it was awesome even though it is it's not that expensive I think it was Ikea only a few hundred bucks probably you know what it wasn't I don't think it was Ikea I think it was I think it was from a place called the container store in San Diego that's where I got it from why do I think y'all care about these things God shut up mutton chop I'm so excited. I finally got my fucking, uh, I finally got my little setup. Let me bring some lighting on the subject. Hopefully it helps and doesn't hurt. So yeah, I finally got, a. I got my little TV set up and I realized it was way too fucking low and that that wasn't going to work because, you know, the old lady's got the little raise tech on hers, right? The little, the little hinge on how you doing raise tech. So I can't do any of the fancy tilting with this, but that'll be okay. I just went out and cut me some some blocks and uh, did some artistic spray paint colorization tech. Yeah, freaking dude, how you doing? So you wash your mouth. And uh, so yeah, I was gonna, I was, I'm thinking like I was gonna cut four inch blocks, and I was like, I was like, you know what? I'll give her an extra inch just to be safe. Well, still not long enough, so I had to go the catty corner catty wampus tech. For fuck's sakes, not the old catty corner catty wampus tech I did, but yeah, so. So not too bad, not too bad. I actually kind of like it that way. So beg your pardon, and I might leave it. I might cut some different ones and stain them, or leave. I don't know. I don't know. You can't make decisions like that all at once, because then things happen and you get confused. So let's just leave it be. And uh, look, I got all my fucking e juices set up, and I got some room to work. And actually, how you doing? And put the old feet up. Put the old feet up, tech. While I'm doing. How you doing? Okay, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs>